is this an embroidery machine I would recommend you buy to start a business? We're gonna dive into that topic. Welcome to The Sewing Report, I'm Jen. This channel is all about making sewing and crafts fun and approachable, and this is the Brother PE800, my embroidery machine that I've been using and featuring here on the channel for about, what, three to four years. I've got a lot of you guys watching these videos, and I get the sense that many of you researching this particular machine are interested in doing some type of embroidery-based business. So I wanna get into just the aspects of this machine versus other machines, and whether or not I would recommend you buy this if you want to do embroidery to make money. For me, the Brother PE800 certainly suits my needs. I am a machine embroidery hobbyist. However, there are certainly some limitations to it and it does take longer to stitch out a design because this is a single needle machine. And real quickly to get this out of the way, I'm going to answer the two questions I get on pretty much every embroidery video. No, this particular machine does not do regular sewing. This is an embroidery only machine. And no, you can't just import random picture files and stitch out a design. The design has to be specifically digitized for embroidery machines using embroidery software. I have an entire playlist on how to use the Brother P800 different projects I've done and answering common questions. First, let's talk about embroidery machines. This is a single needle machine, which means it has one needle and it can stitch out one color at a time. There's something called multi-needle machines. These are more purchased by people who are doing commercial embroidery. They have a business out of it. Now these machines have a number of different needles, like there's like what, seven needle machines, 12 needle machines, all different types. And they even have multi-head machines. So these are several machines that are connected together. And the purpose is so that people who have an embroidery business can have several machines running at once. This is obviously more efficient because you can be stitching out multiple items all at the same time. Time is money to an embroidery business. So it's the most efficient to have several machines running at once in order to increase how many items they're able to customize at the same time. Having the machine power to run a high octane embroidery business is not cheap. These multi-needle machines are very expensive. Think thousands and thousands of dollars. They also require a certain level of maintenance. Plus you have the cost of all of the supplies from blanks to stabilizer to thread, etc. Most sewing and embroidery machine manufacturers do offer financing on them, but I'll be honest, that's not something I'm ever going to promote here. I personally don't like the idea of going into debt to buy a sewing or embroidery machine, but you can do what you're going to do. It's just not something I will endorse here. What if you don't get the business you were expecting? Are you still going to be able to make those monthly payments? Just something to think about. I have seen used multi-needle embroidery machines on places like Facebook Marketplace or other online outlets, so you might be able to save a few bucks by buying used over new, but please be cautious. If you're not mechanically minded, you don't want to buy a lemon. The embroidery digitizing is another aspect you have to consider. Recently, I had digitizing expert Eric Campbell here on the channel. He answered a lot of great questions, so check that interview out if you have not seen it yet. He explains that there is a real learning curve curve for you to be able to develop enough skills to produce a quality embroidery design file. And the software itself can be very expensive, think $1,000 and up. Now you can outsource this work to people who do digitizing. You can also purchase ready-made designs, but be sure to check whether their usage license permits you to sell items stitched out with their design. There are copyright and trademark laws prohibiting you from selling someone else's intellectual property. Now this can include images and references to popular books, movies, music, TV shows, celebrities, and even popular brands like Nike or Disney. So let's talk more about my embroidery machine, the Brother PE800. After having and using it for years, I would not recommend it for an embroidery business. Now I use it for little projects here and there, but the thought of having this thing running all day long and the wear and tear, I just think that would drastically reduce the lifespan of the machine. Now, if you have a more general custom apparel or handmade business and embroidery only makes up a small part of that world, then this may work if you're just doing an embroidery project here and there. But overall, I would not recommend this particular machine for someone who wants to do an actual embroidery business. This is more for people like me who use it for fun every once in a while. And to let me know your thoughts about the embroidery business if you have any insight. And just a quick favor to ask, 
please do not contact me directly to ask specific questions about sewing machines or to get help with certain issues. I will say I am not a sewing machine tech. I'm just someone who uses and tries to help out a little bit with these sewing machines, but I am certainly not an expert and I can only redirect you to the Brother Support Center. The best place to get your message to me is actually just right here down in the comment section. Leave me a comment and also helps me with engagement on this video. So I would really appreciate that. Viewers have been DMing me on Instagram or sending an Etsy message. And unfortunately, I just don't have the bandwidth to handle those types of inquiries. So I would please just ask that you leave comments on the video. If I can answer a question, I will. And if you're out there and you see comments asking questions and you know the answer, feel free to jump in and we can all help each other out. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, I'd really appreciate a like and a subscribe if you want to learn more about embroidery machines. I'm Jen with The Sewing Report. I'll see you guys again in the next video. And remember, whatever you're doing, make it fun.